Smart Home Actions rely on account linking to authorize the Google Assistant to access a user's devices. Account linking is a multi-step process that can be difficult to debug in production. In today's AOG Pro Tip, we'll explore how you can debug account linking errors and overcome that open auth failure that keeps popping up in your stack driver logs. Smart Home Actions require OAuth 2.0 compatible endpoints that support the authorization code flow. Google's OAuth Playground enables you to interactively step through the authorization process with your cloud service. Let's explore how we can plug our account linking configuration into OAuth Playground and validate our Smart Home Action. Begin by navigating to the account linking configuration for your project in the Actions console. Find the client information you've entered for your service. Launch the OAuth Playground by going to developers.google.com slash OAuth Playground. Open the Configuration panel, select Custom Endpoints, and enter your client information into the fields provided. Enter any OAuth scopes your service requires, or something generic like devices, and click Authorize APIs. After signing into your service, you will be redirected back to the playground with the authorization code filled in. Exchange the authorization code for tokens to obtain refresh and access tokens. After successfully retrieving a token, you can make authorized requests to your cloud service using the Configure Request to API tab. For example, you can enter your fulfillment URL into the request field, provide the payload for a sync request, and click Send the Request. During each step of the account linking process, the Playground UI shows the full request and response payloads, allowing you to determine easily if an error is occurring while obtaining access credentials or making an authenticated request. For more pro tips like this, be sure to check out the rest of our videos and share your thoughts with us on Twitter using the hashtag AOGProTips. Thanks for watching.